All right, guys. So we obviously know that there are a lot of true wireless earbuds out there right now. In fact, I've said for a company to stand out, they really need to come out with something pretty unique. And I think the product we're gonna check out today, which is the Gravistar Sirius P5, may have just done that because I have not seen this done on any other pair of earbuds in the past. And if you're not familiar with Gravistar, they're actually pretty known for making a cyberpunk like futuristic design on all of their products. They have the Mars speaker that kind of looks like the little robot. And so they've carried that over to the P5. Well, what they've done here is they've actually offered these in different variations, or at least when it comes to the case. Now the Sirius P5 is an open ear design. Uh, this is usually not my favorite way to listen to earbuds, but I do understand there's a ton of people that cannot use earbuds with the silicone ear tips. So an open ear design is kind of like Apple's AirPods. In fact, these are very comparable to Apple's AirPods third gen that just came out uh, with the shorter stem, but it has a wider opening. Uh, so you'll hear me kind of compare these to those throughout this video. Now these don't technically come out until November the 2nd, so they're on a pre-order. The prices are gonna be much higher once they release. Well, the way that you can buy these is you can buy them with your choice of the three different cases. So you can buy the earbuds and pick which case you want. All three of the cases are spring-loaded. Uh, they have a really nice feel to them, but again, it just changes the look of the earbuds altogether. And the three different cases they have is a Defense Mecha case. Now this one kind of looks like a Gundam. It comes in where you can pick it up right now for $76. Uh, there's also the Defense Armor case, which is my personal favorite. This one kind of looks like an exoskeleton case. Uh, this one comes in at $84. Now, both of those come with the black earbuds, which is the one that I have. But the last case, which is the Defense Crystal case, this is their clear case that kind of has like a design on the outside. This one comes with white earbuds, and this is the only way that I see that you can get the white version. But the clear case also works with a necklace that they include. That way you can just wear them around your neck. And this is pretty convenient for somebody that might not have pockets or have anywhere to actually store your case. And this bundle comes in at $67. Or you can just buy the bundle that includes all three cases. Now this does come with the black earbuds. And that bundle is 89 bucks. So I think the better buy really is just to buy the bundle because it's not far off from the other ones. That way you have all three different cases just in case you know you want to switch them around for different looks or you have one case that gets scratched up or damaged over time. You can just switch over to a different case. You don't have to really worry about buying one uh, down the road. Now, as far as some of the tech in these, uh, it does have Bluetooth 5.2, and it actually has AptX playback, which again is kind of impressive for a pair that's an open ear design. Uh, it also has AAC and SBC, so you're not gonna have to worry about compression in your audio, and it is nice that these have that AptX playback. Now, as far as using these with different types of media, another huge plus is it does have a gaming mode that you can switch them into. And this just cuts down on any kind of lag that you would have with movies or videos. Uh, and it still kind of leaves a slight lag when it comes to gaming. But if you are gonna switch it into this mode, do know it's going to affect your battery life. It's also going to affect the distance that you can get from your device. So do keep that in mind. And another huge plus about this pair is it also has multi-point connection. So you can connect to more than one device at the same time. A lot of people find this useful. In fact, I like this because if I'm watching something on my laptop or my tablet, uh, and somebody calls in, it's just easy to switch over and take that call and not have to just go in and turn off settings and, and do all that. So this is very convenient. Now, if you are gonna use this pair outdoors, uh, it does come in with an IPX4 rating, which is just kind of at the low end. It means it's gonna be fine against rain and splashes and sweat and things like that. But this is not one of those pairs that you would want to submerge into water. Now, as far as some things that they've included in the box, obviously you don't get silicone ear tips because this pair doesn't use that, but it does come with the necklace, at least it does in the bundle of three that I have. And it also comes with a USB-C cable to charge these. Now you are gonna have to use this cable because this set of earbuds does not support wireless charging. Now I would have liked to have seen that on here, but I think having these cases would kind of interrupt the wireless charging from even working. So no wireless charging here. And speaking of the charging, the battery life is actually very good on this pair. If you have these fully charged, you can get eight hours on the earbuds and about 40 hours using the case. But a downside here is there's no fast charging. So if you're somebody that kind of forgets to make sure your earbuds are always charged, 
uh, do know it's gonna take you about an hour and a half to two hours to fully charge these. Now moving over to looking at the case and the earbuds themselves, this is just unique in general. Just looking at the case that houses the earbuds, it actually has RGB lighting, which you can customize on the side. And this is also what lets you know how much battery life is left on the case. But on the bottom, you have your USB-C input, and then you have the button, which is what allows you to change the different lighting setup. Now moving over to the earbuds themselves, they actually have lights located at the top. This this is what lets you know that they're in and that they're charging. And again, it just adds to the futuristic look of these. Now I do like the squared off stems that these have. I think it makes it stand out uh, from other pairs like the AirPods. And this is also where your touch controls are located. And I'm happy to say that these give you control over everything. So you have your play, your pause, your ability to skip your tracks forward, go backwards, you have your volume control, and then you also can switch it into that gaming mode or switch it back into music mode, all from the earbuds themselves. Now, if you are gonna use this pair for taking phone calls, I think the mics on here are pretty decent. Uh, it is using environmental noise canceling, so if you are in a noisy environment, it's gonna try to block a lot of that out. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here's the mic test using the Sirius P5. And again, I think it's doing a decent job of picking up my voice, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here's the mic test with a crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. Because with this being an open air design earbud, this definitely affects the way that these sound. And they did have to use 12 millimeter drivers so that it's able to pump out audio high enough that it can kind of compete with your surroundings. The overall sound quality, I was pretty impressed with. I think it sounds a lot like the third gen Apple AirPods, but the Sirius P5s actually have more low end. The bass is a lot more punchy than it is on the AirPods. And what that's doing to the overall sound is kind of giving it a little bit more warmth. Uh, the treble does have a lot of details, but it is not a bright or harsh treble. Again, because of the bass and giving it that warm tone, it seems to tone it down a little bit but they definitely pushed the mids forward where no matter what genre you're listening to, vocalists always sounded up front. So it's really nice that they didn't allow that to get drowned out with the bass because again, the bass is very punchy in this pair. Now moving over to the sound stage and the sound imaging, uh, this is one area where the AirPods do get the win. It is a little bit more open on the AirPods. And I think that's because the P5s have the bass that they do, that it tends to kind of close it in a little bit. Now, it still left me feeling like I was in a medium to large size room. Uh, so it's not just like two big speakers in front of you, but it kind of takes away from having that really open feel. So my overall opinion is I absolutely love the design of these. I love the unique uh, just look that they have, it makes them stand out. But again, I just kind of like this style in general. I do want to say that I think the charging pins on the bottom of the earbuds might be something you're going to have to be careful with because of the squared off edges and because of the pins uh, basically being located right on those edges. I think over time you're going to have to worry about scraping and rubbing these because if you do that, it's going to keep these earbuds from being able to charge. So be a little careful with that. I do wish that they had Qi wireless charging and fast charging. But honestly, outside of that, for an open ear design to sound this good and this full, I was really impressed. And being able to have a gaming mode where you can use it with different types of media is also a huge plus. And I think it's just an excellent alternative to Apple's third gen AirPods, which are, a, again, a much more expensive pair of earbuds. So I think Gravistar has something pretty nice here. Just, just the presentation in general, the look of the cases, the feel of the cases, uh, it's a very unique product. But guys, that wraps up my video on the Gravistar Sirius P5s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.